Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And as you can see here guys, I have this um, EcoWorthy charge controller. And of course, this is EcoWorthy's 40 amp um, charge controller. It's a MPPT charge controller. It's a part of their kit that comes with a setup that gives you everything that you need. It includes inverter. And of course, it's the 200 watt um, 12 volt to AC 120 volts um, pure sine wave charge controller. It sometimes come in different colors, as mine is yellow. It can also come in the color um, silver, and from time to time they do change the color. The aim of this tutorial is to show you how to change the battery type for this MPPT charge controller. Now the battery type um, with these newer kits, it does come with the Life PO4 batteries, but by default, when you install, it will have the wrong battery type selected by default. It's up to you or you should correct it because if you charge the battery at the wrong parameters, it could damage your battery. Please note, this is a tutorial. Please refer to your manual or ask your manufacturer the appropriate questions before you go ahead with changing any settings. If you're not sure, ask your questions. I'm not responsible for any damage to your device. However, um, this is what I did to correct mine and of course working quite fine. It's been working for some time now perfectly all right so by default um it will be set to um the gel option which is the let us say gel batteries you need to change it to life po4 and of course it should be a four string setup so that's life po4 4s now there are other strings such as seven string or 7s or 8s but of course that's for if you're doing 24 volts and up all right uh, my kit came with um, the 200 AH battery. Um, kits do vary from time to time. The newer kit does come with two single 100 AH battery for 200 AH. And that 200 AH of battery that you do get, um, in my case, it's one big battery. And of course, it's a 12 volt battery. And it is set to the forest option, which I'll show you right now to, for you to change. If you're doing a 24 volt, You'll have to set the charge controller to 24 volts, which is one of the higher strings, such as the Life PO4 for sorry, Life PO4 um, 7S or 8S. Alright, I'll show you how to verify what mode that it is in. Alright, so the first thing you do to change the battery to the correct type, as for my um, setup here, notice this is the main screen. Tap to wake it up. I'm gonna tap again. Tap once more. Top again one final time. Now this is set to the correct settings of life PO44S. Four, four Alright. So that's the correct setting. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead. Notice that the settings it has the charging current of 14.4 volt, nominal is 12.8, which should match your battery. So if you're a 12 volt battery, and of course if you have that 12 volt battery in um in parallel you have a 12 volt battery in in parallel meaning that it's remaining remaining at 12 volts then of course it's the settings for you which is the 4s if you're using for some reason a different type of system with discharge control and you need to set it to say 24 volts then you'll choose a higher string such as 7s or the ATS option and so on. All right, so here we go. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold this one button here. You're gonna hold for six seconds. You can count one, two, three, four, five, and six. It should blink. Now as you can see, it's in the correct mode now. By default, it was or should be on the option that I'm gonna show you now. This one, which is the lead acid gel. That's what it comes on by default. Um, you need to change it so you're gonna press as i showed you you're gonna come to the option here which is the 4s string so the 4s stands for four strings and that's a 12 volt setup whenever you had um, either a single battery that is 12.8 volts or of course you can press and hold to save and of course if you also have your batteries in as i told you earlier in parallel like two batteries and it will remain at 12 volts simply select the settings 
only change this to a higher string rate such as um, 7 I think it was if you have a battery um, that you're putting in 24 volts but for most people as long as it's um, the 12.8 volts that you're remaining at for the 12 volt system as for this setup you would select the live po 44 s to verify go ahead and click and you're here you will verify that it is actually in the 4s because it will remain on the 4s settings if you come back here and it's changed back to, to the gel option it means you didn't press the selection long enough for it to change so you can repeat steps until it remains on live po 4 4s you can verify that it's 12.8 um, volt which is nominal and the charging card 14.4 that should match what your setup is um, always you can go to your manual or contact your um, seller online and ask what was the or what should be the correct battery configuration settings but this one works fine this is what i've set it to and it's been fine all right and you can verify if it's 12 volt system as you can see here it's a 12 volt system all right so make sure that you do not set the wrong parameters and of course that's how you change the battery type on this device if you have any questions please ask them below i'll have links to this kit and everything else below it's ricardo gardner from blog tech tips saying bye until next time bye